everyone, we're down at Wynnum again today. Um, past few days I've been working on and fixing this camera. And it's a Pentax Spotmatic SP. So the camera had a sticky shutter, um, the self timer didn't work. And the lens also had a um, the auto stop down pin mechanics were jammed up so I pulled the lens apart as well and repaired that. Um, the lens has still got a bit of fungus so I've got to get a special spanner so I can undo the lens groupings more to clean all the fungus out but everything's working nice and smooth now. I also cleaned out the um, threads for the focusing ring as well and re-grease those so it's all nice and smooth now but I'm just down here today to test it all out and make sure everything works how it should before I pull the camera down further. So I don't have a battery for this camera, so um, the meter doesn't work, so I'll be using this to get my exposures, so at least I'll know that everything should be exposed properly and that'll tell me if my shutter speed is working correctly or not. I also have my action cam mounted to the top of the camera so that when I'm, whenever I'm shooting photos you guys will be able to see what I'm looking at and how it relates to the final photograph and London loves to whinge. Say hi. about to develop this film, um, I had a really bad feeling that it didn't wind on correctly, so um, we'll just wait and see after I develop it, I suppose. So just as I thought, um, developed the film and there's no photos on it, so totally blank. <laughs> um, obviously, rookie error, didn't load it film properly, but um, it's the first time it's happened to me. So I've been shooting film for about six or seven years now, so first roll that this has ever happened on, so I'll just have to make sure it was my technique and it's not something wrong with the camera. So as you can see, there is nothing on this film at all, except for the markings. So the blacks where it's been exposed to light, and this is just a whole lot of nothingness. Um, this film is actually a C41 film, so it's meant to be developed in color chemicals, but you can develop it in standard black and white chemicals, which is what I've done. But as you can see here, no photos. So here we are again, a new day, new roll of film. Um, hoping this one is on the spool properly this time. Um, same again, I got the same setup again with the action camera on top, so you'll be able to see what I'm looking at when I take the photos. All right, here we go.
So have images today. Um, yesterday was obviously a loading error on my behalf. Um, today I shot with Kodak Ultramax 400 um, and developed in Ilford ID11. Um, so the image is going to be black and white when I scan them later. So you can see there, there's some images. A couple of shots of London. Couple of street shots. Much better than the blank film I ended up with yesterday. So you may have noticed a few of the frames were unevenly exposed, um, a little bit underexposed on the right hand side of the frame. So that's indicative of having a dragging shutter. Um, so I've pulled the camera apart and adjusted it a little bit. I still need to film test that again, but that's the last, should be the last thing that needs to be repaired apart from the light seals. So once I get the light seals done, I'll be going out again and shooting another roll of film to see how this camera goes once everything is working correctly. The other day, I managed to get a bag of um, old camera gear. Um, there's a lot of gear there, so I'm going to make another video about that, but it did contain four lenses which will fit this Pentax Spotmatic. Um, the lenses are pretty clean. A couple of them need pull down because there's a little bit of fungus or a little bit of dust inside them, but apart from that, they're pretty good. So I'll be testing those lenses out with this camera as well. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, it's much appreciated, and subscribe if you want to see some more videos.